Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to C-SPAN here at the Florida Aquarium. It is Tuesday with Tom and Tango. Tango, the loggerhead sea turtle, is hanging out with me today. She has her baracas, and she's going to be playing along with me as we sing opera tunes, songs that I've written for and about the animals here at the Florida Aquarium. Uh, we want to thank our sponsor, CIBC, that is helping us bring you content every day, every weekday from the aquarium at 10 a.m. So make sure you join us here every day with C-SPAN. Now here on Tuesday with Tom, you guys, you make the show. Uh, so we take your comments and requests if you want to hear a song about an animal. And let me clarify, animals that you would find in an aquarium. We got a lot of requests for dogs last week. And, well, we don't have any dogs here. So um, uh, keep it to animals in the aquarium or in the ocean, right? And, uh, and we'll do it. So we've got a brand new song coming up later today. This song is about uh, a whale. We got a lot of requests for whale songs from Nicole, Eric, Amanda, Aiden, and uh, Rosalie. They all wanted to hear a whale song. So here we go about my favorite whale. This is the narwhal. Let's go, Tango. <laughs> Markings on my pale white skin, and I swim so sweet that I don't need a dose of fin. I know I sound like I'm bragging, but I'm totally not. It's not my fault if I am fooling all the others at night. I am a na 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 rock. Oh, I'm a na 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 rock. Yeah, I'm a na 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 rock. Oh, I'm a na rock, and my tusk is ten foot long. Where it's nice and cold I swim under the ice shell Cause I'm brave and I'm bold I eat little tiny fish So I only got one too I stun on with my horn I'm telling you the truth I know I sound like I'm bragging But I'm colder than I Look in the sea of cold fish I am super hot I am a na 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 rock Oh I'm a na 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 rock Boys that grow their horns, but some girls do And if that's not red enough, some of us grow too I can live a long time, up to 50 years And except for those orcas, there's not much I fear I know I sound like I'm bragging, but I'm totally not There ain't another wheel that all the dad's got what I got I am a na 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 rock Yo, I'm a na 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 rock Hey, I'm a na so cool. That tusk, right? They have a 10 foot long tusk. Uh, that is a tooth. It is one tooth and it just grows right off the top of their head. Uh, sometimes they uh, can be found with two horns, which is amazing and pretty much makes them the coolest whale in the sea. All right, let's move on to our next song. This one, uh, we had, uh, it was Rachel, she requested a song about a cormorant, which are uh, commonly known as snake birds, uh, often confused with anhingas. They look a lot alike. And you'll see them out of the bay all the time. They look like, you'll just see their necks. They're excellent swimmers. So uh, we have a song about all of the birds that we have in the wetlands. Uh, the wetlands we have are lakes and uh, rivers of Florida. All the animals, birds flying around through. We've got lots and lots of birds. So this song names a lot of the different birds here. And it's a really catchy chorus. I want you guys to sing along at home. You'll hear it, right? And then once you hear it, it'll be really easy. You can sing along. OK, here we go. Birds, the beautiful birds of the wetlands. These are the birds, the 
Just think of live birds in the wetlands Over tiny species and one big dog That fly around in their pool hall At the tree you're looking in every tree I want to sing their names Will you sing with me? Let's stop, here it goes! Parents of the Burgansers, ruddy ducks, and the cooling teal. Wide eyes, a rose, a spruce, a bull, a whistling duck. Don't forget the common forehands, snowy feet, red, yellow, brown, night hair. Northern fish tails, no flamingos, and the old jocks from the pelicans. Alright, you heard it? Now I know next time you're going to be mistaken. These are the birds, the beautiful birds of the wetlands. These are the birds, the super fly birds of the wetlands. Some birds will float and some birds will dive. Some birds swim and some birds fly. So many birds for you to see. Now come along and sing the names of me. Here we go, everybody. Let me hear you. Green hair and hidden perk answers. Ruddy ducks and the blue and teal. Wide eyes and the rose and smooth bell pull the whistling duck. So many common forehands, snowy feet, red, yellow, brown, night hair. Northern tip tail, no flamingos, and the old Joshua the pelican. All right, now I didn't really hear you too much on that, but uh, you've heard it twice, so obviously you guys are ready to take it on your uh, own the next time. Here we go. These are the birds, the beautiful birds of the wetlands. These are the birds, the super fly birds of the wetlands. Oh, some birds are big and some birds are small. Some birds are short, just like y'all. Remember, don't touch the birds that you see. Now it's your turn. Sing the name for me. Here we go. Let me hear you. Three. I don't hear you. Rosie, full of this whistling duck. Don't forget the common forehands, so we eat your empty yellow brown night hair. Northern tip tail, no flamingos, and the old Josh from the Pelicans. And don't forget the double breasted conqueror. <laughs> all right, that was kind of unfair because those were a lot of words there. But you guys, I'm sure you'll be ready for it next week. Now you may have noticed we are in a little bit of a different setting. We are here at Stingray Beach at the Florida Aquarium, and we've got lots of rays swimming around behind us. Those are all cow nose rays. And uh, here's the deal. These uh, rays, most of them are pregnant, and we are just counting down the minutes, actually, until they uh, give birth. And it might even happen during this broadcast. So if it happens, uh, you get front row seats, right? So these are cow nose rays. We also have southern rays here at the aquarium. Uh, there's a blue nose ribbon ray that we have, beautiful ray. Now these are rays that you're going to find in Florida, and you'll find them right on the edge of the beach, and they like to hide underneath the sand uh, so that they are camouflaged. So when you're out in those Florida beaches, when those beaches open up and we go back, when you're in those waters, you don't want to go in there stomping and smashing. Come on, not a good idea. You want to shuffle. You want to shuffle those feet, and that'll kick up that sand and move the rays out of your way, and nobody uh, uh, gets hurt. So that's what we want to do. And to help you remember that, this is a song. Uh, we've done it here before, but uh, here it comes again. This is the Stingray Shuffle. And uh, Tango's going to show you how to shuffle. I want everybody up and shuffle. Here we go. Oh, there's nothing better than the Florida beach. A thriving ecosystem all within your reach. But don't forget the stingrays hiding under the sand. Don't smush them with your foot or touch them with your hand. They will scatter to the deep, the water below. If you shuffle those feet and walk the nice and slow and do the stingray shuffle. Oh, the stingray shuffle. Yeah, the stingray shuffle. They shuffle all the blues away. You got it, Tango. Now rays have stingers, that much is true. They use them to defend themselves from big folk like you. They're made of skeleton, just like a fingernail. And if they get you, man, you'll drop it, we could wail. But they don't really want to hurt you, they just get scared. So if they go into the water, just be prepared to do the stingray shuffle. Oh, the stingray shuffle. Yeah, the stingray shuffle, they shuffle all your blues away. Check this out. Now rays don't eat humans, that's just absurd. They don't even want to sting you, despite what you heard. But just in case it happens, tell you what to do. You pour some hot soap and water onto your food crew. But to avoid all the pain and the suffering, just remember what I told you and do the thing that's the stingray shuffle. Yeah, the stingray shuffle. 
songs I've written for and about the animals here at the Florida Aquarium. And if you want to hear a song about an animal uh, that we would have in the aquarium, go ahead and put it in the comments. I go through the comments every week, and I pick out the most requested animals and do songs about them. If I do not have a song about the animal that is requested, I will write a song. Now, it was actually two weeks ago we started getting requests for a very strange animal called the blobfish. And I want everybody to look up uh, right now on Google, go and find a picture of a blobfish. I mean, don't leave the broadcast, but you know what I mean. Find a picture of the blobfish, and you're going to see what was voted the most hideous animal on the planet. And it's just so unfair, because the blobfish has evolved to live at a depth of 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet, guys. Let me give you some uh, perspective on that. Humans safely can dive to around 130 feet, maybe 200 feet on a deep dive. 200, 4,000. All right, so when they live 4,000 uh, feet down, they've evolved to not have any uh, um, muscles or bones. They're just big balls of jelly. So when you pull them up out of that pressure, they get all distorted and they look weird, but that's not what blobfish look like. But I have to admit, they're kind of creepy looking, but also, <clears throat> also super, super cool. So this is a song about the blobfish, and this goes out to Allie, Harry, Ben, and Jeremy, uh, and several others who requested the blobfish song. Here we go. Hope you like it. <laughs> Blobfish, 
and she wanted to hear a song about the alligator. And we have alligators here at the aquarium from the species Alligator uh, Mississippiensis. Yeah, and they're amazing. Uh, so that's the American alligator. And that's the one we're going to sing about. Uh, goes a little bit like this.
Turtles was 13 years old and they call her a loggerhead. She's got a strong jaw but she doesn't have hair. She wears a very pretty flower instead. She likes to get silly and goof around. Everybody looked out and goes out. So join us there at 115. And then remember, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, uh, we have uh, Feeding the Baby Gators with Matt. All right, so make sure you keep connected with us. Stay in the current with us uh, here at the Florida Aquarium. Thanks so much for joining us with Opportunities. Put those things in the comments. So what you want to hear about songs, what you want to hear about, okay? Go ahead and put those in the comments, and I will get to work on the new songs for you next week. All right, see you there later, everybody. Bye-bye.